Let's learn how to export and manipulate water quality monitoring data from Hands on the Land's environmental monitoring website. You must be a registered and logged in to the website to export data. So first let's go to monitoring and we're going to go to water quality monitoring and uh, then we're going to search all data. You can also go to the data link over here on the left. Search all data. Okay, and today we're going to go, we're going to get data from, let's see, Tremont Middle Prong River, and then we're going to click Go, and that'll filter the data. Okay, now we have all the data from the Middle Prong uh, Reach, and we're going to export it, export as CSV. There wasn't too many records here, so that was pretty quick. I'm going to download the data, and I'm going to save it. And then what I'm going to do, because they have, at that site, they also collect uh, um, BMI, or biotic information, benthic macroinvertebrates. So we're going to go to that data set. We're also going to export that data. So in this case, we're going to, once again, we're going to filter. Middle Prong River. Click Go. Okay, now we have that data here. We're going to export it. CSV. And there's a lot more records in there because we collect when there were no species found as well. And we're going to download it. Save the file. And then I'm going to go to uh, that folder. And I'm going to um, rename them. Now, I already did this. So I'm just going to uh, actually, I, I could rename them, but in this case, I've already done that before. So I'm going to delete these new ones. So we have the data that's been renamed, both the, um, the, ben the benthic macroinvertebrate data and also the, eight, the water quality monitoring data from Middle Pond. And then I'm going to go, I'm working with Google Sheets. I've already done this, but uh, I wanted to show you how to do it on the new one. So we're going to go File, Import. So then I'm going to go Upload and docs.google.com spreadsheets. You'll need a Google login to use this. But it's the open source sort of free version that's out there. You can do online. Okay, so I'm going to upload. The first one I would upload is the middle prong data. There we go. And drag and drop it. And then I'm going to say detect and import, create a new spreadsheet. And then I'm going to open that now. Okay, so now we have all the data imported. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to create a new sheet attached to this one. So I'm going to import the benthic macroinvertebrate information. So I'm going to go import, upload, and here's the BMI data. All right, in this case I'm going to insert a new sheet. I don't want to create a whole new spreadsheet. I want to have this one attached and so they're in the same file. So I'm going to go import. Okay, now we have, uh, actually it should be still loading it. Okay, so there's the new, we have the main sheet that has the data. And there's an ID, I want you to notice this, there's an ID for every single one of these. And then on the, on the BMI data, there is a collection number. So the, the collection number relates to the ID, okay? And that's important, and we'll go over that in a minute, why that's important. So first of all, there's a lot of unused columns um, in the data, in the Hands and Land Water Quality Monitoring. You can choose which ones you use, so a lot of these are not being used. And for this case, we are really only need dissolved oxygen for this little experiment. 
So I am going to delete the um, vast majority of the columns. So let's see, what dissolved oxygen. So I'm going to delete them. You could hide them, but in this case, I'm just going to delete them. And then I'm going to we want dissolved oxygen. So I'm going to go all the way over. All we want is dissolved oxygen. And I'm just going to delete them all. All the remaining ones. Okay. Now we need to create some additional fields, um, columns. We need to connect the BMI data to the, um, the H2O data for the, the water quality data. So I'm going to go look at the one that I've created. And this file is going to be available for you um, if you'd like to use some of the formulas we created. So if you notice, I have created all these extra rows. Visual survey, caddis fly larvae, mayfly nymph. Um, and then one called dissolved oxygen temperature. So what we've done is, uh, first of all, the easy one is, is the dissolved oxygen. So instead of having, you notice how on the dissolved oxygen there's 5.8 and 9 and, and 6.5. What we want that data to be is we want it to be a nice round number. And so I'm going to create a new column. Insert one to the right. And this one we're just going to call dissolved oxygen. And use underscore that will help later and then on uh, this one I'm going to write a formula formula is really easy it's just equals round um, and then it's in column D and two so it's going to round that number for us and then I'm going to double click on the node it's going to send it all the way down where it should If it doesn't, we can always drag it. And this piece of data here is um, shouldn't be ppm; it should just be a nine. Should just a, should be a value. Okay, so now we have all that rounded. Okay, the next column we're going to create. Um, let's see, what did we do over here? Next one, we're going to do a caddisfly larva um, column. I'm going to copy copy that text. I have to retype it. Control V. Control V. Okay. And now I have to get the formula. Uh, the formula is um, we're using something uh, uh, something called sum ifs. So it's going to sum the BMI data column if it has a particular um, characteristics. So I'm going to copy that. I'll go over that with you over here. It's going to be a little bit different. Let's put the function in. So what it's saying is it's saying um, over here we want to sum this column. And in this case, it's G, the visual. This, this is the visual survey for different species. And you notice here in 862, the ID 862 collection ID, there was a caddisfly found one. And so that's going to be all tallied up. So that's in column G. Um, oh, also, and then you'll notice the reference over here, the collection number is in the C column. Okay, so we have, we're going to tally up the G column, which is um, so how many there were seen. Now, one of the ifs that we're going to put is if the D column which is the species name, is equal to caddisfly larva. And that's the exact words that was in that column. And then the last we're going to do, the last one we have to figure out, is this, this A2, which is the 963, has to be equal to the collection number, which is in C column. So you'll see in the C column, is going to be equal to the A. So if that's the case, then count those caddisfly larvae. Well, once again, I'm going to double click on that. And we'll shoot down at the bottom. So you notice on 8.7, there was 20 caddisfly larvae counted. And there was a dissolved oxygen of 9. Now, just for fun, we're going to do another column. So we're going to insert 
insert one to the right. And uh, in this case, we're going to do mayfly nymphs. Now these are all species that um, we're going to find out what kind of dissolved oxygen they like, which would be kind of interesting. Oops. So in this case, in case we're going to get mayfly nymphs, uh, I'm sorry, let me go back. And I'm going to copy this formula. Control V, Control C, Control V. Okay, but the only thing I'm going to change is I'm going to make sure to go over here, and make sure I copy this exactly how it is. So over here, and I'm going to go back and change this one to, to uh, if I know. Okay. And then in this case, on this date, there was 16. Once again, I'm going to double click. Okay, now we have our data. Now what we need to do is we need to do a pivot table. So I'm going to um, grab all this. Oops. I'm going to press shift. And I'm going to go to data. I'm going to go to pivot table. All right. And so now we're going to compare different things. The first thing we're going to compare the row. The rows we're going to do is for um, dissolved oxygen, not the ones with the decimal, the one that's been rounded. Okay. And we're going to order it descending. Okay. And uh, the next thing we're going to do, uh, show totals. We don't need totals. We're going to add a value field. In this case, we're going to do um, caddis fly larva. And we're also going to add another one, and we're going to do mayfly nymphs. Okay. Now we're going to grab the whole thing. So I'm curious what the graph will look like. I'm going to graph this. You can already see that around 9, with a DO of 9, we're getting a uh, nice little spike there. Okay, here's our graph. Now we can edit the graph by right clicking, advanced, edit. Change the title if we want. Okay, and there you have it. We have a graph that compares dissolved oxygen to biotic survey species. And of course, this is that middle prong. Okay, and that's our little demo for the day.